Hello Aries, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are doing amazing. This is another intuitive reading about the other person, okay? Someone you're not in talking terms or could be an ex-partner. And this reading can help provide insights and information. If you're not interested to hear messages like this, then you may want to skip watching this video as well. Please bear in mind that this is still a general reading. Some of this may not resonate, my dear. Do check your moon signs and Venus signs as well, okay? Cross watchers, the energies in this reading could be vice versa, depending on your situation. Thank you so much for all your support, Aries, and let's get into this reading. Any messages, please, Spirit, about the other person that Aries is connecting with at this time? Any messages about this other person, please, Spirit, that Aries is connecting with at this time? Ace of Swords. All right, so the way that it flipped, you know, I, I'm getting this energy that someone is gathering some strength here, Aries. All right, a little bit going back and forth right there, whether to talk to you or not. Okay, um, I'm also getting this energy that they're working on it. Eight of Pentacles. They're working on gathering the strength, gathering the resources, or maybe just the guts to face you once again and, and have a conversation, all right? Let's see what that is all about. Okay, so the lovers. Okay, Gemini energy. Lovers can also mean communication or making a decision, right? So someone is making a decision to communicate with you, Aries. Someone who's your soulmate. Uh, but there might have been a falling out between the two of you or communication was just not smooth, okay? They're struggling to say the right words. But they want to journey towards getting more clarity with you here, all right? Um, they want to be in the same page with you again as well. Let's see. Sun of Cups is what's blocking this energy. It could be, you know, a conversation about your relationship stuff that you dealt with in the past uh, but this is a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces very mysterious person not the type to fully express how they feel i feel like to get to a point where they're thinking of communicating with you it means that um, they can no longer contain it aries it has a little bit of an effect on them when you got when you guys are not talking at all um, it weighed extra heavier on them because uh, I feel this energy that you were their confidant here. You are someone that they talk to maybe on a daily basis or someone, you know, like to go to person. They trust you a lot. Um, they share a lot of things with you as well. So the fact that you guys are no longer in talking terms, I feel like those ideas and thoughts were just bottled. Okay. And so, yeah, someone is making a decision of reaching out reconnecting with you and just airing things out with you okay they want to express some stuff that's weighing heavy on their chest lately yeah the hermit here virgo energy so they were a little bit distant for a while they really pulled back here i sent someone who's isolated um completely cut off communication or you could have done this as well aries I felt like this person went on a spiritual journey for some healing, okay? Um, also, with the hermit, someone had a tendency to overanalyze or overthink the whole um, relationship if this has been an ex-partner. There's no doubt that there's intense emotions and love for each other here. But with that kind of passion also comes temptation. So I feel as though there might have also been third party energies trying to interfere between the two of you and and what i mean by third party energy does not necessarily mean another person but you guys could have felt like there was just something that was hindering you both to come together other priorities maybe or work got in the way you know 
or maybe if it's a long distance relationship uh, you could have felt like this person was just so far away so distant um, and when you need someone to be there they're just not there okay and so now that you may have probably walked away from the relationship this person misses the conversation that they share with you okay there's something about your connection that the two of you um, find it so natural there's a natural co uh, connection between the two of you and that's all the more reason why this person is sort of searching for that kind of um, relationship with you Aries we have Sun of Pentacles Earth energy could be a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn but there's two suns here usually when there's two Knights or suns in a reading there's again a sense of competition so in the past there might have been an earth sign who I feel like they move pretty slow um, or this might be the same person as well uh, they could have offered you just being friends or being there has been a, a moment where you both have platooed in the relationship right or this son of Pentacles could have had some restrictions when it comes when it comes to going all out in this relationship especially if this has been a Virgo person in your life uh, it's either they were too busy with work there were a lot of things that they have going on in their plate and so they got scared of prioritizing your relationship or maybe they thought that you could stick around and wait around for things to get better but they themselves were not decisive at that time so right now with the sign of cups they are keeping all those emotions in maybe right now they're still in a state of in denial um, they don't want to admit that they're still missing you and they want the kind of connection you both have because right now I feel as though it, it, it's slowly being realized by them Aries in this period that you guys are not in talking terms or not communicating um, the emotion that they share with you and uh, just how much you mean to them in your life in their life it's becoming more and more apparent with this person all right is becoming more and more clear for them um, also like this person may have had ghosted you in the past or the relationship could have been like on and off kind of situation here because this person like you said had the tendency to over analyze or over criticize always overthinking things uh, what could go wrong or what could be you know the perfect timing for things to move forward so they overthink a lot okay and, and that could have what sort of block the relationship emotionally from growing between the two of you um, okay so we have here eight of swords there's something about this person um, with the eight of swords they don't like to admit that they're still bothered by the whole situation I don't feel like they're talking it out with others like I said and because it's you that they constantly talk to communicate with a lot of times um, they don't share that kind of connection with anyone else right now okay so eight of swords they're all up in their head a lot of times thinking about situation over analyzing again they're a little bit stuck in their head here unable to move forward and release themselves with that kind of energy this is self-imposed fears someone could also fear commitment but they're in denial about their true feelings maybe commitment is what scares this person right they could have been the type that made a lot of excuses um, with your relationship and so I felt like you wanted more or you wanted to see some improvement and progress between the two of you but this person um, delay kept on delaying the commitment so that's what I see we have the three of Pentacles here someone that maybe you are related with because of work all right um, or maybe you know this person is gonna find a way to overcome those mountains and try to work things out with you again because like I said someone is thinking about communicating right now um, but they're not in the right mind frame there's just a lot of negative thoughts maybe they're putting themselves down here um, maybe fear of rejection as well if they're gonna offer you with that cup all right they fear that you're not going to be as open as you once were okay they know that to get to you they're going to have to move mountains as well here Aries um, and also this three of Pentacles indicates cooperation 
and communication here so it's only going to work out if the two of you do come together with an agreement of some sort but judging from the cards i feel like whoever this person is they're leaning towards the negative you know outcome with this whole thing right we have the mother of cups could be a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces i feel like you know you could be aligning to the energy of the mother of cups especially if you're a female watching this video and the mother of cups she is covering her cup almost saying no i'm not ready to you know i'm not ready for things to just go back to how they were okay um and this person might soon enough come with a bold bold um, offer or approach towards you i feel like they're gonna try to do that but with the mother cups i feel like you are not open to receive that cup nor are you ready to share that cup as well could be an indication of you opening your heart okay or opening yourself for another um another chance with this person okay the mother of cups can also mean psychic abilities so i feel like intuitively some of you guys know that this person is gonna approach you again or you both could be making a decision what to do about this relationship if you're going to work things out, okay? So, Daughter of Wands, I see a lot of court cards in this reading, um, but this is in the environment. So, I feel like, you know, this person sees you as you're scared to give them a chance or not really scared, but you're smarter about taking a risk. I think that most of you guys are definitely holding back here. Um, yes, you do still feel some chemistry with this person or maybe physical attraction um but it's the energy of not wanting to give it a chance because there might be pending danger or risk that you're not willing to take that's what i'm seeing here and and that's why this person knows that they're gonna have to move some mountains in order to have you become emotionally open or just to have you to talk here okay the way that you both used to communicate um, yeah, because right now, hopes and fears is the hangman. Um, Aries, I feel like, you know, this person is ready to give up, but also they're still holding on somehow um, to any ounce of hope that things could be better for the two of you. But also, I feel like this person is not yet putting the effort in. Okay, judging from this card, he still has his hands tied okay and unable to move forward or proceed with their actions and unless this person had the clarity of that decision then can only they start making some moves towards you or approach you once again all right the hangman can also mean making sacrifices so um i feel as though with the lovers here if it's a commitment issue i think that you guys are waiting it out until this person is going to give you that commitment but until such time you guys are pretty much saying no to this person because i feel like there has been sacrifices on your end as well um, as the final outcome we have the mother of pentacles again that earth sign for some of you this could be someone you already have kids or children with and it could have been an on and off marriage or relationship with this person um, but you know that this is your soulmate this is someone you really connect with on a spiritual and emotional level uh, but i feel like there has been some struggle with temptation here it's either your partner this other person um, may have done things in your relationship in the past that made you really doubt their loyalty or trust could have been broken by this person as well um, and so children or kids could be one thing that binds you both together daughter of pentacles can also be a child okay a young fire sign but that's what I see with the cards. For those of my Aries who are young people, maybe you are, you know, this reading could be both your parents who are um, not together at the moment, but they're trying to make it work, okay? And, and they're still trying to make a decision whether to, or how to fix this marriage or this family together. That's what I'm seeing. Now, let's clarify some of the energies here. Why is the lover's card here, please, spirit? Six of swords, all right? So all the swords are down below. Well, as you can see, there's a rainbow. So what I'm seeing here is that, you know, 
there's hope for things to get better here. There's hope for things to get better. But it's a journey. It's a decision that both people need to make here to reach calmer waters. But right now, I think that one of you guys or both parties could still be in that indecision. Okay? Um, in that suspended kind of energy. Why is this Son of Cups here, please, Spirit? Seven of Pentacles. There's the energy of waiting. Waiting for someone to be open. To reconcile, maybe. Or... Uh, waiting for some form of inv invitation or confirmation um, that it could be a start of things moving forward once again also i want to point out that maybe aries you have been done waiting okay you've been exhausted drained in and out uh, from too much waiting and so some of you guys might not be open for this person anymore and and i think that you know, maybe it's the kind of energy where you've done your part. And so let's see if this person is definitely determined and serious about making an effort. That's what I'm seeing here. Why is the Hermit card here, please, Spirit? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, if this has been your ex-partner or husband or wife, where um, maybe cut communication or... This person may have left home. Um, there's the energy of being left outside in the cold or maybe ostracized, isolated. Um, someone left and they suffered when they were alone, when they were not with you and your kids or your family. Um, it has been a tough emotional and even financial situation for them. Uh, but, you know, five is a rolling number. So eventually there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel with this whole thing. It could be a sense of pride as well. Maybe pride is what's blocking this person from reaching out. Um, despite their tough situation emotionally and financially. So if they let go of pride and ego, right, and they reach out, maybe this is the start of things getting better for the two of you, okay? For some of you, if this person ghosted you, it's because of uh, they were concerned about their financial stability. There's something about work that they really want to focus on. Um, I think that they don't, they didn't feel ready for that commitment. Also, the responsibilities. We have here five of cups. So they regret it now. They're regretting it now. For causing you pain here Aries someone is also crying over spilled milk energy or you could have felt that in the past um, there were there were feelings of regret as well maybe you regret having given this person some chances before or maybe this person is now starting to regret their decisions um, we have here five of wands yeah um, it's a feeling of not being able to shake things off in their mind there's something about uh, this person at night as well maybe being haunted by guilt or feelings of they, they don't feel at peace here there's no inner peace and their mind just right now is is scattered there's a lot of negative thoughts doubts and fears here uh, but also a state of in denial that's why uh, they're a little bit disorganized right now um, i see a lot of energies pertaining to this person experiencing instability okay and this is an alignment of some sort because they're in the dark and isolated the rest of the stuff that's going on here is a little bit scattered so once they make a decision that's really going to honor their heart here into clarity into calmer waters everything in their life will be start will start to come together in alignment okay that's what i want to point out here and this is a lesson that this person needs to undergo um, it's, it's a state of, of being becoming mature as well and getting to know oneself here. Seven of Swords. So, yeah, both of you might be hesitant to communicate and talk, but this person is still keeping one eye on you, all right? It could be the energy as well of despite being away, someone is making some plans here, devising some plan, um, how to approach or how to reach out. There's the energy of also hiding things. 
this person might be hiding because there's feelings of guilt and they just don't know how you'll take it okay they don't know how you you're gonna take it i also see someone who yeah right now i feel like this could be your energy aries where you guys are afraid of recommitting with this person because of the stuff that you've been through with this person in the past okay it left it left a very big mark in your in your heart here um, and you're becoming more cautious right now who to trust in this kind of kinds of situation so this person taught you that to become less trusting of others and become more discerning yeah so i feel like romantically okay with the eight of pentacles they're trying to like weave everything together just to make it you know make it happen with you again or reach out with you there's something about your network as well here um they're trying to be around you or gonna will try to be more around you here uh, maybe reach out to you through social media as well or common friends right ace of cups so this person wants forgiveness because of your children if you have kids or maybe this energy of wanting to go back to how things were um, there's the energy of finding you as their true love. It's a kind of innocent love that they feel for you, my dear Aries. Kindred spirit here, kindred kind of love. A very innocent and pure kind of relationship that they do feel for you. But there was stuff that, you know, they have to go through in order to mature and realize lessons here. The full car yeah eventually some some of you guys will um you know this person definitely will come out from the state of isolation and reaching out you know with the full card it's a new beginning but for some of you though like this person is worried that you have already moved forward with your own new beginning here aries um and now they're the ones feeling like they're suspended you know they can't do anything about it right now if you guys are already free from this whole connection because like i said some of you guys are done waiting here four of wands oh okay this this is beautiful because the mother of pentacles she takes care of home here and four of wands can also mean situations regarding home so for some of you right um i feel like despite this person not being around you are going to take care of stuff at home stuff that are off domestic and work related as well you're holding it down very well aries um also like if this is a marriage i feel like huge huge chance to reconcile and even make this a more happy and healthy kind of relationship for long term um it's a work in progress is what i'm seeing here also for some of you you might try to reconcile because of your kids um give it another chance for your kids is what i'm seeing here that might be the case because this person is scattered without you aries or without the family um living alone or being alone really tested this person and and they proved to have been suffering emotionally here without you but with the empress in the uh, outcome card most probably love will will grow in this kind of situation all right um forgiveness as well they see you as the empress aries the ideal woman someone is very abundant giving loving and so they want commitment with you again okay but for some of you, like I said, maybe it's because of your children that you want to make things happen between the two of you again. All right, so let's get more messages out using the Enchanted Map Oracle cards. I know that's not going to resonate for all of my Aries out there. Uh, but you would know if this is for you because it will make you feel something, okay? Any messages, please, Spirit, about the other person that Aries is dealing with at this time? Is there anything else we need to be aware of, please, Spirit, about this other person? Okay, so the Strength card, right? Could be a Leo. Uh, 
you could be seeing a lot of 444 four, four as well. That could be a number that's significant in your relationship. But 4 means structure. It also means... It also means commitment for me, you know, building a home, like a physical home, a structure. So it takes a lot of strength to rebuild a relationship. But also this person is undergoing some major emotional and spiritual construction once again to get their life together here. And, and it's tough because right now they're still finding balance in their life. Um, you could have dealt with a person who really struggled being in all places at once multitask or maybe prioritize you with their work or other stuff going on in your life uh, with golden palace here though some of you guys are dealing with a person who is yeah definitely busy with work a lot of times trying to build their uh, their empire their castle here they're trying to get you know they're trying to prove something on their own here financially um, maybe they're struggling as well to become financially stable like i said ever since they may have left home or left a relationship it's something right now that they're struggling to be able to accomplish okay but the golden palace aries you are this person's essence of home here there's something about you that's definitely special and you know despite not communicating or not talking to each other right now uh the relationship you both have has been golden and if you will overcome this with this person it could be a sign of your relationship getting stronger i also want to say that for those of you who are not deciding to you know uh reconcile with this person i feel like this relationship will definitely push this person to become a better version of them of themselves as well as well as you you have learned a lot from this relationship as well dry desert yeah this person is just going through some personal drought in their life right now financially emotionally and spiritually um it's a test of their character not being able to you know go back to how things were or not talking to you right now um i feel like they're still single or unattached right now uh but there's a feeling of experiencing some personal drought okay personal drought here um but this is only a temporary situation eventually this person will find um a place to rest a sense of solitude a sense of calmness in in the spirit of, of drought and dry um, eventually they will have the abundance that they seek okay it's just essential that they need to go through this situation right now so they can realize what really is important in life and what do they see as their treasure here the stuff that's important for them is it money is it career is it your relationship you know again it's a test of character with this person all right, so that is your reading for the other person, my dear Aries. I know it's not going to resonate for all, but if it did, let me know in the comment section. I'm sending you all love and light. If you haven't watched the How Did They Feel About You bonus reading, I did upload that yesterday, so go ahead and check that out as well. Uh, but if you were able to resonate with this, um, I appreciate you guys for watching until the end. So see you again for next week's uploads, and namaste.